none of us came here to impeach a president. That's not our priority, our vision for our country. But would you, as the first order of business, take an oath, oath of office to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States? And when we see a violation of the Constitution, we have no choice but to act. And the evidence is clear that the president, the president, has used his office for his own personal gain, and in doing so, undermined the national security of the United States by withholding military assistance to the Ukraine to the benefit of the Russians, uh, that he has undermined uh, the integrity of our elections by what he has done, again, the Russian interference being ignored by him, and third, he has violated his oath of office. Agenda, an agenda that said we are As we continue to gather evidence and the facts from the testimony, uh, we'll go to where the facts take us. I believe that the truth will set us free. The president has said to me, the call was perfect. I said to him, the call was perfectly wrong. And as I said to the president, if you have any information that is exculpatory, please bring it forward, because it seems that the facts are uncontested as to what happened. Now, if you have contrary, uh, if you have reason to convince people that something was different, under oath, please let us know. I think the sad tragedy of all of this is the behavior of the president and the defense of that behavior by the Republicans. Yes, sir. Well, if the Republicans are in denial about the facts, if the Republicans do not want to honor their oath of office, uh, then I, I don't think that this should be we should be characterized as partisan in any way because we are patriotic. I take, so, I what's take, your question? The question is, how does that change? Sadly, the president has re responded to the inquiry that is going in now with behavior that is beneath the dignity of the presidency, of the office that he holds and the oath of office that he took. And by the way, a very bad example for our children in the manner in which he behaves and speaks. Not yours, not mine, not any of our protection is absolutely necessary. So you have seen now they're making assaults on the whistleblower. This is wherever you may stand on what the president did. An attack on the whistleblower is an attack on the integrity of our system. We cannot let that happen, and we will. We will not let that happen. The, uh, the intelligence community has publicly recognized the importance of whistleblowing and pointing out wrongdoing and the importance of protection of our whistleblowers.